Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. This is uh, lesson uh, 17 and in this uh, tutorial we are going to simulate a circular footing using volume element with Plax's uh, 3D. If you notice it in the previous uh, examples we always used a, a plate for uh, modeling the shallow foundation. Uh, because in plate uh, we can also uh, estimate uh, the shear force and moment and axial load uh, in the element <coughs> sorry and in this example we will try to uh, simulate the foundation using a full volume element which is more uh, realistic and uh, uh, in reality uh, but the problem is uh, in this version of plexus while using the volume element we cannot uh, uh, see or uh, calculate the uh, shear force or axial force or uh, moment diagram in uh, this element so the problem uh, which we are going to simulate is uh, similar to the lesson uh, 15 and uh, the properties of the foundation and the soil are uh, the same the only uh, difference is that we are going to you uh, to model the uh, circular footing with volume element instead of plate so i uh, already this is list 17 i already defined uh, the soil geometry and uh, defined the material for uh, the soil and the foundation so i will not uh, uh, do uh, that again so we uh, again will select a point for uh, the load settlement curve after the calculation so uh, this one will be 10.5 because we extruded the foundation 0.5 meter so this one it should be newt as we can see this is uh, the point at the center of the foundation or footing update okay i think now everything is ready and we start the calculation okay the calculation is finished we can see the results so we can see that the Maximum displacement is about uh, 0 0.26. It's almost close to this result. So this is the deformed shape of the foundation. And we can see the total displacement. And we can take a section. As you can see in here can see the displacement vector or displacement isobars okay we uh, are, we are interested in load uh, settlement curve right now we click on curve manager new and in the x direction we will have uh, the m stage in y direction we will have the displacement in z direction okay and we will not export the data from the first and uh, second phase we uh, click on the table and control a and control c copy it and we will copy this data in the excel i have already done it so uh, this is the m stage and this is uh, the this the settlement or displacement so in here we have to multiply the m stage by 308.8999 because uh, the, uh, this is the amount of the lot which we applied to the foundation and uh, the settlement also will be multiplied by 1000 as the previous to uh, convert from meter to millimeter and uh, we can see in here this is a load settlement curve for the foundation of uh, using uh, volume element and the blue one is uh, for the footing using the plate element we can see that uh, it is almost similar 
and uh, but the problem is in volume element uh, we cannot uh, see uh, or we cannot uh, examine what is the maximum moment in the foundation or uh, maximum shear force or axial force so uh, my intention in this uh, tutorial was to uh, simulate the circular footing using the volume element and compare uh, and compare the results uh, with the similar situation when we simulated by a uh, plate element and i hope it was beneficial and thank you for watching see you in the next lesson